quick little inside view of a computer as it stands right now. Um, so yeah, uh, those high temperatures, I mean, I've checked the temperatures this past week several times, almost every time I'm turning on the computer. It's roughly around 62, 61, 63, 65 one day. Uh, just booting it up in, in BIOS, just not letting it run all day long. Because when I'm not using this computer, I turn it off. I do. I do a controlled shutdown. I uh, don't one. I don't want to waste the electricity. And two, I mean, if I'm going to be running this all day long, I mean, it's going to need better hardware than what it comes with. Obviously, um, I mean, you can see the computer when I purchased it. I told me that that's exactly what he uses now personally I was expecting a much more expensive CPU fan or cooling system uh, but no I mean look at this $29.99 let's pull that back up guys Do the installation yourselves there's because this was essential and i'm probably repeating myself and i apologize guys he told me i can either remove the, the stock cooler reapply the paste the thermal paste that is of course i'd have to buy a brand new tube of thermal paste but you know that's like what six maybe ten dollars on amazon pretty inexpensive um only, he said to put about size of a pea or two so that's what i'll do um uh, and then obviously it'll spread it across now there are different style brackets whether you're doing Intel or AMD but apparently this comes with both sets and according to this also comes with its own little application of thermal paste so I don't have to buy that. It comes with about enough to do two applications so that's pretty cool. Now he said that I could reapply new paste and put the stock cooler back on or I could go with a better cooler apparently this is the one that he uses. And I mean, I was expecting something maybe, I don't know, 60, 80, maybe even $100 or more. 30 bucks minus $2 plus tax and shipping, or free shipping in my case. That's kind of a no brainer, guys. So I'm going to try it out. And this one has RGB. So, one, one thing that I didn't care too much about when I got the computer is, um, well, I mean, I love the lights in the front and the lights in the rear, but the center part of the computer is a little dark. So, this will hopefully light it up a little bit. And I was thinking of in the future uh, doing some RGB uh, memory sticks. I mean, I have uh, 16 gigs of RAM right now by Ballistic. I love them. I mean, they've worked perfect. But who knows? Maybe I'll add a little, couple more sticks. Maybe I'll do, you know, two, two RGBs. Or maybe I'll do a row of four. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Those are just some couple ideas. And uh, 
So I'm going to wait for that to come in and we're going to do that as a separate video. So this is a proposed upgrade. Uh, or maybe we'll just spin that all into the same video. I don't want to make this too long of a video. Hey guys. We're going to go into a little detail here. Now I've had this computer since uh, pretty much the end of June. It's been a definite uh, upgrade from the old computer. Smaller, much more powerful. There are some pluses and minuses. Like, I did have to put in some new RAM. It only came with 8 gig. I put in uh, two sticks of 8 at DDR4s. I actually went with the Ballistic brand, but I'm thinking of uh, swapping those out for some RGB ones. Yeah, you might be thinking, hey Dave, you already got RGB in here. Yeah, I do. One, two, three, four. And then we have a fifth fan. This is the CP cooler, CPU cooler. And that's part of the problem, guys. Now, I know you're seeing like, oh, you got a graphics card. Yeah, this came with the computer itself. It was part of the combination deal. It's not the greatest, greatest graphics card, but it does me fine. Now, obviously you can see it is a little bit dusty. I got I gotta do some cleaning. And speaking of cleaning, speaking of improvements, we need to do some. Now, you can see I already have the BIOS pulled up, and guess what? Right now, uh, just two minutes ago, it was at 63. And right now it's holding about 58 degrees Celsius. That's at boot up, guys. 58 degrees Celsius at boot up. Okay? That's not ideal. Like here, I'm gonna we're gonna shut it down. Right? I didn't make any changes, so we're just gonna close that out. Okay, so we shut the computer down. Now, we're going to, as you can see, it's a cooler master right there. Now, this is the CPU fan. And that's part of the problem is you can feel a little bit of warmth coming from here. A little bit from the GPU. Everything is stocked as it came with the computer. Now I have been tooling around with, can I fit some fans in here? It would be pretty tight given the wiring, so that's not an option right there. But I have one, two, three, four fans. I actually have to pop the cover off and uh, hit those vents. Uh, really, you should be doing it, I would say, every month or two, at the very least. That could be wrong. Everyone does their computers a little differently. Like I said, I gotta clean some of this out, but that's, that's just regular maintenance. So let's turn it on. There we go. No grinding sounds. Everything sounds pretty good, right? This is the standard cable management of this computer. I didn't do any special uh, finagling of any wiring, as you guys can kind of see. I wouldn't mind uh, doing something here to kind of clean this up a little bit, but this connects right here, so I have to try and figure out how I can go about that. But the real thing is, we want to get into the BIOS. Okay, we're back in the BIOS. Fresh start, let's go to hardware monitor, and we're about 57. That's still pretty damn warm for right off, right off the top. Now also, mind you, I have the case is open. I have the cover right there. So obviously, there's a little bit more ventilation in here because I have it open. You're not gonna keep your towers open, guys. So I called up iBuyPower, and one of their tech support was real kind. Now they do have extremely long wait times, and there's no option for them to call you back. Or you can try and email them with hopes of hearing back within a week or two or even a month. Um, but their customer service aside, if you wait and you hang on the phone line, they will reach out to you, or you you will hit someone eventually. Now the guy I spoke to was real, real kind. I had some questions because I was curious about, one, about the Windows 11 upgrade. Will my PC be compatible? 
Well, I downloaded that Windows program, and guess what? It said it wasn't. Funny, my five-year-old laptop is compatible for Windows 11, but this wasn't because TMP 2.0 was not enabled on here. He walked me through how to do that on here. But I had other questions, like I want to replace my current two sticks of RAM, DDR4, at eight gigs a stick, that's 16 RAM. I wanted to replace it with potentially RGB. Would it sync up with it? He did tell me this to go with uh, RAM that uh, RGB RAM that is compatible with ASRock, so I gotta make sure that that's compatible. But I also asked about setting the fans that are optimum settings. And he helped me with that too, but here's the other thing. I had, now see, I've been out of the computer game for a long while. So, I asked him, temperature-wise, temperature-wise, is this right? And, well, when we spoke, it was actually at 63, but like I said, right now I have the cover off, and we did some tweaks with the uh, fans, but right off of boot, it should not be at 57. He said it should be maybe in the 40s. So it's running a bit warm. That's no bueno, guys. So, <clears throat> this is what he told me. He said a couple options we, we can take at this is this. One, I can take the cooler off. I could reapply the thermal paste and put this cooler back on and see if that improves it. To see, is it a thermal paste issue or could it be a faulty CPU cooler? He said, if it's a faulty CPU cooler, we can do one of two things. He can ship me one. <clears throat> he can ship me one, and once I ship the old one back, I'll get reimbursed that way. Or, I could send my computer, I can ship my computer out for maybe potentially three to four weeks while they do the fix themselves. Or, if I'm comfortable with it, I can go ahead and buy a cooler myself. A better cooler that will work with this. And that's what I'm going to do, guys. We're going to take this out. We're going to clean it up. And we're going to get a new CPU cooler that will hopefully help perf help this computer perform and stay a bit cooler. Now, the gentleman I was speaking with actually has almost the same identical setup. Except he's got, obviously, a little amped up uh, version of the motherboard. <clears throat> better graphics card obviously I mean that's what he does right but he says basically it's the same setup as an ASRock motherboard and he referred me to a very cool looking CPU cooler and we're going to check that out in just a few moments guys so uh, there you go I gave you guys a quick little inside look of the computer right now so yeah I uh, probably sound like I'm repeating myself, but yeah, the uh, guy uh, the guy at iBuyPower is really cool as far as his customer service and also, you know, going over explaining everything with me. He was very cool about that, and I appreciated that one. He gave me this option of, he says, oh, you can replace the thermal paste yourself if you're comfortable, or you can ship it to us, but it'd be out of my hands for at least three to four weeks not too sure if I want to do that plus I do have some experience with computers so he says if you're comfortable with it there are plenty of videos on how to apply new thermal paste to put your CPU cooler on so like I said he said I could take the stock one off apply the new paste put the stock one back on see if it helps improve the results or I have the option of going uh and getting a different cooler one he actually recommended so the one current stock one is flush up against the motherboard this one would actually be spaced out you have a little bit of space here. Got the heat sink that uh, is actually applied. I know, I'm, I'm weird. Because the computer stands up like this, so the motherboard's right here, processor's right here. So it's actually gonna be right here. The RGB is gonna be on this side, and this is the back side, which is in front of the rear RGB fan. So, and 
and it's going to have plenty of clearance as far as the top of the computer and as far as underneath where the GPU is. So, um, and that RGB might add a little bit more light to the inside. And I mean, hell, for $30? The way I can wire it in is I can always daisy chain it, if you're familiar with that term. Daisy chain it into the RGB controller. Basically, that's where you're connecting one thing onto another, onto another, onto another. Kind of like Christmas lights. You ever see when you got different sets of Christmas lights? It plugs into one, plugs into another, plugs into another. That's pretty much kind of a daisy chain concept. Okay? So, I'm looking forward to doing that i don't know when i'm gonna get it It might be wednesday or thursday um thursday we this thursday we have dave's dimensions 300 member 300th citizen of the dimension giveaway so maybe right after i do that stream i'll start to get to work on this or maybe i'll hold off until next week because Friday I have, I'm working half of my work day and then the other half we, the wife and I are driving out to Ohio to see some family. We won't be back until pretty much Monday afternoon, so maybe Monday night I will try and work on this. Um, trying to have it done before uh, Monday nights, because usually Monday nights I jump on Colbane Games, uh, uh, Gumpla Hangar streams on his channel. Where he does Gundam build, so we'll see what happens. So yeah, we kind of have a game plan to do some upgrades. Um, but yeah, my concern is the temperatures. I don't want the computer overheating, especially how much I spend on this. I know, I know you're thinking eight hundred dollars is not, not really that much. Well, if you're someone who doesn't have a whole lot, you're not flush. You kind of make with what you do. I mean, would I've loved to have saved? I actually I wanted to build my own computer. Had I had the money. Uh, to go ahead and do so, I would love to have built a brand new computer, but graphics cards, that was my big deciding factor was graphics cards. I mean, they're not cheap. I mean, if I was if I was lucky to get a graphics card for that price alone, I would be blessed from on high. But no, that wasn't the case. So, I mean, for $800, I got the decent graphics card that I have in here. I've been able to play... You know, Star Wars Battlefront, uh, Marvel Avengers. I've been playing, play, be able to play so many different games, and you know, it does the job, guys. It does a tremendous job. Uh, could it help my video quality? Nah, probably, but we'll see what happens. My main concern is keeping that temperature down. So, we're gonna see how much of a difference this really makes. As you guys saw, we were getting about 57, 58, 60. So we're going to see how much of a difference that will really make. Now, mind you, in this room, I have a fan at the far side of the room. It's Buffalo. We've been getting some pretty hot temperatures, like 70 and 80 degrees on a constant basis. So it's not like this room is an ice box. So, and right now I do have the cover back on the computer. So we'll see what happens, guys. So, yeah, stay tuned to part two. Will it make an improvement or not? If not, maybe I'll put the stock cooler back on. We'll see what happens. So until next time, guys, this is Dave from Dave's Dimension saying keep on busting, and I will always catch you on the flip side.